hello students so in this lecture we will drive uh, an expression for uh, this uh, gradient of a scalar point function in orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system so let's try the expression for it uh, let phi be phi of x y z be a continuously differentiable scalar point function or uh, of orthogonal curvilinear coordinate system u1 u2 and u3 is there phi of x y z is a continuously differentiable scalar point function of orthogonal curvilinear coordinate uh, coordinates u1 u2 u3. so now if this is a function of u1 u3 3 since this is a vector quantity if you find gradient of a scalar point function you get a vector point vector point so let us assume uh, the uh, gradient of uh, gradient of phi is equal to have the three components it is vector quantity the three component along uh, uh, three uh, three gradient vectors e1 e2 e3 will be k1 e1 k2 plus k2 e2 plus k3 e3 where e1 e2 e3 are the unit vectors along curvilinear coordinate axis they are axis because they are, they are mutually independent. They are two axis, they are mutually independent. The axis means they are mutually exclusive, mutually independent. And K1, K2, 3 are the components along these unit vectors which are to be determined. Now we will find the value of K1, K2, K3. So for that, let R be the position vector of any, let R be the position vector of any point P. For P in the current coordinates, R is equal to R is equal to component of U1, component of U1, U2. Now, this is a position of the point in current coordinates. Uh, therefore, total derivative of R in the current coordinate will be this two, U1, U2 will be dr which is equal to uh, R is equal to U1, du1 plus to R plus U2, du2 plus to R plus U3, du2. The total derivative of now we know that um, uh, the tangential vector along the curve uh, u1 will be partial to r is to u1 is equal to uh, uh, h1 u1 similarly you can find the uh, tangent, uh, tangential vector along the curve u2 and u3 will be by partial to r is to u2 h2 e2 partial to r is to u3 h3 so choose the value of positive r is to u1 u2 u3 and the total derivative. So we got d uh, uh, vector is equal to total of r is equal to h1 to u1 descalers is connected along the u1 uh, part. u1 minus vector plus h2 u2 u2 equal to plus h3 u3 and we also know that uh, uh, the total derivative of the scalar scale point function is equal to uh, the gradient of the uh, gradient, if you will find dot product of gradient of the scalar point function and find that the dot with the, with the uh, total derivative of the position of point with that the total derivative of the this scalar point function. Now in this result we have proved it in the previous lecture. If you substitute the value of uh, del of phi and the dot derivative of r on the right hand side we and find the dot product we got total of uh, total of phi is equal to now i e1 dot e1 e2 e3 behave like the rectangle called i j k suppose you know to i dot i is equal to 1 j dot j is equal to 1 k dot so therefore e1 dot e1 is equal to 1 e2 2 dot e2 is equal to 2 1 e6 e dot e2 is equal to 3 other 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 will be 0 dot product so um, after finding dot product we got k1 H1 du I dot I dot I dot similarly zero so E1 dot one similarly to plus K2 H2 du2 plus K3 H3 now this is one different but we know that the total derivative of uh, phi in the in the, this uh, current coordinate system will be as we calculate from the total derivative of push motor similarly we have the total derivative of scale function phi. So, pass to the 5 is to u1 du1, the pass to 5 is to u2 du2, pass to the 5 is to u3 du3. 
Now, left hand side of both, so there is a 3 and 4. There is a total of 5, total of 5. Left hand side equal, right hand side must be equal. So, equal. So, comparing them, 3 and 4, we got from these three equations, you can guide, you get the, you can find the value of k1, k2, k3. So, k3, k1 is equal to 1 upon h1, positive 2, 5 is to u1, k2 is positive h1, h2, positive 5 is to u2, and k3 is equal to 1 upon h2, positive 2, 5 is to s3. Now, substituting these in the equation first, in this equation first, k1, k2, k3, we got the uh, the gradient of phi. Gradient of phi, this means that this del of phi. Gradient of phi means del of phi. Gradient of phi is equal to 1 upon h1, positive 5 is to u1, u1 plus u1 interrupter plus 1 upon h2, positive 5 is to u2. E2 in character plus positive uh, 3 positive 5 is 3. Now this if you uh, now the what 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 will be the this value written in this uh, in the in the cardinal coordinates? So if you remove 5 from here, so del operator will be remove 5 from here. Yes, so it's got 1 upon e to the e1 upon h1 positive is to u1 plus e2 in character upon h2 positive is u2 plus e3 in character upon h3 positive to h2 u2. So this is the del operator in this uh, cardinal coordinate system. Uh, if you want to remember it, and uh, you have to compare the, uh, this uh, del operator in the Cartesian coordinate. What was, the, what was uh, that in the Cartesian? For remembering, you have to compare in the Cartesian coordinate everything. Because you know the thing in Cartesian coordinate. Cartesian coordinate, therefore, to remember them or to, to you have to compare uh, this uh, uh, the del operator of this current uh, coordinate with the del operator of current coordinate. This is equal to this is equal to i alpha plus to plus to two x j plus to two y plus d plus two. This is the equation of the del operator along tangential orthogonal coordinate. Tangential whether we are using we are using the word. Is there? Uh, this is tangent curve along the intersection of the spheres. If there are along the curve, in this direction of along the curves, and the uh, curves we got from the intersection of the surfaces, corner surfaces. To find the equation of the del, oper uh, del operator del along the normal orthogonal coordinate system, uh, if you if you put phi in the equation, this phi phi is equal to u1, u2, u3, we can we'll get the equation. Uh, del of uh, u1 is equal to substitute phi, uh, uh, phi by u1, u1, u1. u1 is u1, one, other will be u1 is to u2. They are constants because they are independent, independent in current coordinates, they will be zero. So, if, it, if you would del the first uh, uh, current coordinates, that will get u1 upon h1. Similarly, so del of u uh, is equal to ei, you put the ei upon h1. Where, what are what the del, del of u and del of u3? This is a, this is a normal vector to the surface, uh, u1 is equal to c1. It's a normal vector. What is, what is this? Del of u1 is the normal. Del of u1 and del of u2 are the along normal to the coordinate surfaces u1. Del of u1 is normal to u1 is equal to c1. Del of u2 is equal to normal to the u2 c2. We have, we have, we have just, Studied in the previous lectures, del of u3 is equal to uh, is a normal to the so when you substitute the value of e1 upon h1 in uh, from seventh in the sixth six, we can get the equation of the del operator, del, you know, the gradient of phi in the uh, along the normals, so pass to phi is to u1, del of u1 pass to phi. So we, we what what is the change? What is the, uh, the change that you you have to notice about you have the change and then you can use it. The del of u two plus u five is u two del of u two plus u five is u three del of u two. Okay. It's the equation of the gradient of scalar function along the normal the surface at the point of the at the point of the intersection. Now, coronary question this: If u one, u two, three are orthogonal orthogonal coordinates, then Modulus of del of ui is equal to hi inverse i using two and e small ei ei inverse is equal to capital ei inverse ij. If they are in the orthogonal, means both the normal and tangent uh, tangent vectors 
left is coincide with it. We know that to develop UI we have in just now. We develop UI is going to EI, EI, Vonachai, EI, Vonachai, EI, Vonachai. Models is going to be models of develop UI equal to models of EI upon models, models product for the models. So, you know, models of EI is equal to one is equal to EI dot EI, 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 EI model square is equal to dot E, uh, one to one cos of this one. Cos of zero is equal to one, therefore EI is equal to one root of one is equal to one. And HI, we, uh, we have to uh, suppose that HI is equal to uh, R plus to the R is to the UI minus R is to the so HIs are, what are they? They are positive. They are positive, therefore, modus HI can be written up by HI. So, this become, what will this become? This become uh, the modulus of uh, del of UI become 1 upon HI. It is equal to HI inverse I. We know that. Uh, uh, this EI is a unit vector along the normals. EI vector is a normal normals. So EI unit vector is equal to del of UI upon modulus of del of UI. Right? And del of, del of UI, we know that is equal to EI upon 1 unit vector EI upon HI. I just want to take. Now if substitute the values and the del of UI is equal to HI inverse. I. Substituting their values, so del of uh, so, uh, EI unit vector is equal to uh, EI small EI inter upon HI upon whole upon one upon HI if eight we should cancel them out A upon B upon C D equal to A upon B into D upon C cancel out the factors and we got EI neutral along the normal is equal to EI EI neutral small EI neutral along the normal for I is one to three. So if the uh, U1, U2 are orthogonal vectors. U1, U2, if the curvilinear co coordinates U1, U2 are orthogonal, then the normal vector and this tangential vector both coincides. Vector along normal and vector along tangential coincides. For the agreement, I can prove that E1 vector is equal to H1, H2, H3, del of U2 into del of U3. So now we, we know that we, we start from the large one to reach the single, uh, single term. So, take left and right, right and right is equal to, and you do, you do this and it is e1, del of u3, so e term is not there, cyclic order, e2 inverter is equal to h3, h1, del of u3, del of u1, and similarly, it is equal to h1, h2, del of u2, h3, 1, 2. Where u1, u2, 3 are orthogonal kernel coordinates. So, proof of this is, we know that uh, del of ui is equal to small EI interactor upon HI, I just want to take. Now, uh, find the cost product. Take the term from right hand side, del of U2, del of U3, E2 interactor upon H2 across E3 interactor H3. These are scalars. I showed the H2 and H3 scalars. They can take out. H2, 1 upon H2, H3 is equal to E2 cross E3. E2 cross E3, they behave right, like IJK, therefore E2 cross E3 is equal to E1. As E1 and behave, uh, behave like IJ can put in within the uh, orthogonal left angle coordinate system, therefore, uh, as I, I cross J is equal to K, K cross J, J cross K is equal to I and K cross I to J. Similarly, uh, J cross is the reverse order, so minus minus, and so on. Similarly, E1 vector to E2 is equal to E3, 2, E2, 2, E3 is equal to E1, E3 cross E2, E1 is equal to E2. So, choose the value. Substitute the values so from the, this and if from A and B we got and the uh, del, if you put del, uh, gradient of u1 cross gradient of u2 the vectors is equal to e1 to h2. Similarly, cross multiply the scalar at the left hand side. So this implies e1 vector is equal to h2 h3 into del of u2 cross del of u3. And similarly, you can find. Uh, e into e2 from the tangents to the curve and it is from the limit of the tangent from the, um, the curve along the uc uc curve to the curve thank you very much thank you very much for listening and